Yeah, you better get yeah. back. I'll kill her. Kill that kid. Get back. Get back. Imagine the mailman or the cable guy shows up to your house. You open your front door and your little dog runs out into the yard. The mailman then gets out his gun and puts your dog to sleep right in front of you. Um, what happens to that mailman? I literally could only find a few circumstances of this ever happening because mail carriers aren't cowards like a lot of these cops are. Um, and the few circumstances I found, the mail carrier goes to jail. So why are cops allowed to come to your house on your property and all they have to do is say they were scared and now they get to put your Pomeranian down right in front of you? If a guy working Amazon came to your house with a package and a dog came out and then he pulls out a gun right in front of you and puts your dog down, what happens to that Amazon driver? You think he gets in trouble by Amazon? You think he gets charges? Uh, he might not even make it home in some people's yards. So why are cops allowed to do this? Why are they above the law? They're supposed to be the brave ones, yet they are the ones that are the most scared of everything. So what does a box of chocolates and a police officer have in common? They'll both send your dog to heaven. Um, I didn't make that up. I actually saw that on James Freeman's screensaver. It's a really good quote, so I remembered it. We're going to watch three videos. The first two videos are going to show two heartless cowards. And then we're going to watch a video of a cop get rushed by two pit bulls. Okay, first let's watch this video by K-A-R-K. -K. The link will be in the description of this video. This clip is going to show a Jetsonia, Arkansas police officer by the name of Joe Gossett. And he's going to show up on someone's property and send two of their dogs to heaven. Home of a Jetsonia family is much quieter tonight after the loss of two dogs, the family says, at the hands of a police officer. Thanks for joining us tonight, 10 o'clock, everyone. I'm Bob Kloss and Laura has the evening off. Gary Burton Jr. spoke with the mother of this family. Gary, you're joining us in the studio now to tell us more about it. What did she say led up to the death of the dogs? Well, she says it started with her son taking the dogs out and moments later her son went back inside to let them know of a traffic stop at the end of their driveway. She says within seconds gunshots that left her two pups dead. This is where the blood starts. Spots of blood stained the rocks on Delana Cross's driveway. There's some more blood. She says the blood is from her dog Thunder after being shot and killed by a Judsonia police officer on August 16th. I've never been this heartbroken and mad at the same time. Thunder had a brother, Lightning, who was also shot. I miss my dogs, but I'm so mad that he shot towards my home and towards my children. She says the officer was conducting a traffic stop at the beginning of their driveway on Highway 367 North. Thunder and Lightning were outside to use the restroom and went to the scene. Croft said her son stepped out on the porch to call them home. Thunder, lightning, thunder, and he got about three out before the cops started shooting. She says lightning was killed here. Straight in the skull, didn't come out. There was no blood. Adding that thunder was shot while running home. He made it inside, but bled out in front of her five children. They are completely traumatized. Cross says she spoke with the Judsonia police chief, Robert Parsons, who she says told her the officer's reasoning for the shooting was justified. I wanted him to take some leave time. I wanted him to take some gun safety courses. I wanted him to come apologize to my sons. The loss of thunder and lightning will forever hurt, but gunshots aimed in the direction of her home is something she can't let go. I can't months from now hear about a story on the news where the officer did the same thing and he actually hurt somebody. The chief says the shooting of the two dogs is justified because they made his officer feel attacked. Also, they weren't on a leash, which is the city's ordinance. And we do want to warn you that the video released from the Judsonia Police Department is quite graphic. It's a tough watch, but she says there is more footage that needs to be released showing Officer Gossett shooting towards her house to kill her dog, Thunder. So I did not shoot towards that residence. Officer Gossett says he shot four shots, and after shooting lightning, you can see he put his gun back into his holster and walks back to the car. Afterwards, he starts walking into the direction of Cross's house. Cross says this is when he shot towards Thunder as he ran back home. And nowhere in that video does it show the officer, you know, extending up and shooting in any direction in anybody's home. I saw it. My sister saw it. My husband saw it. 
My two boys saw it. Judge Sonia PD says this was the only dash cam footage released because the other patrol unit did not have a camera. Also, the department was in the process of getting new body cameras. So the day of the incident, they were shipped which they received the day after the shooting. So one officer was riding around with no body cam and no dash cam. Chief Robert Parsons says the shooting was justified because Officer Gossett felt attacked by the dogs. Cross says she can't believe this because her dogs aren't vicious at all. Watching the interviews and the dash cam, Cross says she isn't done fighting. I cannot believe that they have chose <laughs> to not make this right. Do you think that officer would have shot those dogs if those were his mom's dogs or his friend's dogs? Probably not, but he'll shoot your mom's dogs or heck, he'll even shoot your mom. Check this out. We're about to watch Deputy Brian Williams of the Columbia County Sheriff's Department in Magnolia, Arkansas show up on scene to a domestic dispute call. When the homeowner opens her front door, her little Pomeranian dog comes running out. This big, brave officer is so scared of this two-pound dog that he starts firing his weapon, but can't keep his composure, so he misses and hits the lady in the leg, and misses his partner by only inches. You better get back! I'll kill a Get back! Get back! Get back. I didn't shoot her. The homeowner did file a complaint after this and then a lawsuit. We'll get into the lawsuit here in a second. The sheriff's department, they investigated themselves and found no wrongdoing. What a surprise. And the big brave deputy Brian Williams, he received no discipline for trying to sh shoot a little two pound dog and hitting a homeowner. Um, before we get into the lawsuit, though, let's watch Little Rock PD officer Ryan Detmer get rushed by two pit bulls. Check this out. Hey, sir. How you doing? Can I at least talk to you in the back of the house? Because she's just going to start fussing. You got a lock on it, man. Fuck! They don't buy it, do they? Are they gonna run off from the neighborhood? They don't buy it, do they? Are they gonna run off from the neighborhood? Come on, hey! Dice, come on! Yeah, who else thinks those first two cops are? Can we get them back in the house so they don't yeah, run off? So, which of those three cops I just showed you would you rather come to your house? The answer is actually none. So the homeowner did file a lawsuit after this, just like she should. I'm going to leave a link to all the information if you want to read through it. I'm going to skim through the important parts for us. But it's saying that she filed a lawsuit um, because she was shot in the leg by Deputy Williams. Uh, the plaintiff alleges the following specific claims related to the shooting. Uh, state law negligence claim against Sheriff Mike Lowe, which is the sheriff. A state law negligence claim against Deputy Brian Williams an excessive force claim against Deputy Williams, uh, 42 U.S.C. 1983 claim related to the force of Deputy Williams, and 1983 claim against Columbia County Sheriff's Department. So I'm going to save us a bunch of reading and get right to the bad news. So long story short, because Deputy Williams shot her in the leg on accident, he's getting away with all of it because it was an accident. So, uh... What it says is, for the reasons stated above, the court finds that defendant's motion for summary judgment should be and hereby is granted. Plaintiff's 1983 individual capacity claim against defendant Williams is dismissed with prejudice. Plaintiff's 1983 official capacity claims against defendant Brian Williams and Mike Lowe are dismissed with prejudice. Plaintiff's 1983 claim against Columbia County Sheriff's Department is dismissed without prejudice. Uh, and further, the court declines to exercise its supplemental jurisdiction over the remaining state law claims. And these claims are also dismissed without prejudice. Um, would your mailman have gotten away with that? 